Need like apart from needing to go to sleep. <laughs> huh? Maybe I could do the Starbucks song then, and then, yeah, and then, yeah. and then yeah. which is my other kind of beating up on consumerism song. <laughs> and then we could end maybe with Nicaragua, Nicaragua, because I, you know, you do need to go sleep. Those are usually tired. Um, the Starbucks song is based on having worked in the north with the coffee cooperatives here, where they produce some of the world's best coffee, according to international competitions, open international competitions. And yet they live impoverished, much, even more so than this little place. You know, these are, these are quite decent houses by the north standards. And these are just shacks with the roof, re they all leak. And, you know, as you can see, if you gaze in, they're, they're not exactly in plenty of furniture and not lots of stuff. But as somebody pointed out, people here are generally very tremendous spirit of happiness. Yeah? So having had that experience working with them and then going to the north, like Britain, the United States, the North Pole, and finding a Starbucks waiting for me there. And I could go and ask for a, a simple cup of coffee. And the response to that was, just blew in from Nicaragua, rather grimy and really tired. Saw that cute little Starbucks sign to heaven, it was wired. Staggered on in, parked my guitar, cried out to the barista guy, Oh man, you are my savior, give me coffee before I die. Looking rather puzzled, he said, well, what do you want? Frappuccino, cappuccino, grande o sciotto tall. Cream a lot fat non dairy, that's not remotely all. Do you want high foam, low foam, no foam, triple out of your markabilis? And if you won't answer my question, sir, sure gonna get me pissed. <laughs> you remember this? Um, in English, we, my, I had, my sister said to me, so this is a song about coffee. Why is everybody getting drunk? In England, pissed means getting drunk. She said, the way, proper way this song should be, is people getting mad, is to say pissed off. So it makes us the world's greatest sing-along song, because all you have to do to join in, as you beautifully demonstrated, get to that point, just going to get me pissed off. Everybody whispers very quietly, off. It's the world's greatest sing-along song. You don't even have to be able to sing. Whisper one. <laughs> Three letter word. Perfect. Somewhat startled by his reaction, got down my surprise, and this corporate induced vision swam before my eyes. People of every nation slogging over their Starbucks grades, got to get those multiple choices right before that mucker's made. What do you want? Frappuccino, cappuccino, grande or short or tall. Cream a lot fat non dairy, and that's not remotely all. Do you want high foam, low foam, no foam? Triple Lottie or Mockabilis? And if you won't answer my question, sir, you're going to get me pissed. I said, hang on there, Mr. Starbucks, sir, not asking for the moon. Just need a shot of Java Man to help me stay in tune. Sorry I don't talk your Starbucks speak, all your questions have got me in a spin. Please just give me an hour or three, I'll try to get my order in. Frappuccino, cappuccino, grande o short or tall. Cream a lot fat non dairy, that's not remotely all. Do you want high foam, low foam, no foam? Triple audio, mock up a list. And if you want, answer my question, sir. Get me a piss. Oh. Finally, it hit me. I was falling in this Starbucks trap, and all this pseudo sophisticated bullshit was just a load of crap. For as they peddle their greedy little potions, for which we have to pay an arm and a leg. In Nicaragua, the coffee pickers' children, they're forced to go out and beg. Oh, Mr. Starbucks, sir, to stuff your frappuccino, crappuccino, mutated milk and all. Hey, what ever happened 
to that fairly traded coffee you promised. And parenthetically, this is my favorite line, what's long, what's wrong with words like large and small? Don't you want to reinvest some mega profits so no child's meal shall be missed? And if you won't answer our questions, Mr. Starbucks, sir, you're going to get us pissed right off. off. It's been a long day and I'm, I'm as probably as tired as you are, so again, thank you for coming. We'll see you more of you, I hope, while you're working. We're working on a similar project just over here, you're over there. And you, then you'll be up in, the, up in, have you been already or will you be in, some of you are coming and going, so, in Carrasso. Um, we could end uh, with yeah. Nicaragua, Nicaraguita, yeah. which some of you know, perhaps. It's a love song to Nicaragua. And again, it's it's a wonderful song in many respects, pretty, very beautiful, um, and so much of the life here is so beautiful. And what we're working towards for the whole planet is beauty, really, because life is worth living tremendously. But how many of us have time for beauty in the real in the real world that we're in? We have to endure in so many ways. And one of the things that cell phones and internet and so on, because it doesn't allow us time to reflect and relax and take time to for, to sleep on things. Um, it deprives us in so many ways of that beauty. We get too stressed out to see it. We don't notice how beautiful things are actually. And that's a wonderful thing about here. You know, you're away from all of that stuff. Hopefully most of the time you get a chance to just be where you are for a change. You know how it is when you go to a restaurant and there are four people sitting at a, at a table together and each one is on the cell phone and they're not talking to one another and you think, well, okay, why didn't you just stay home, guys? You know, you could just eat and cheap. It's intriguing. It takes you out of your current, your current reality. Again, not particularly to beat up on cell phones, but they are a, a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Yeah? Nicaragua, Nicaraguita, on the other hand, is the opposite. It's about appreciating the beauties of Nicaragua. The water, as it says, overflowing with purest water. There are many, several verses which celebrate the tiguilotes and the jocote tronadores, the fruit and the, the fauna, the fruit and the flowers of Nicaragua. But because they are so, so how would you say, um, they're just meaningless words until you see them. We don't generally sing that, those verses. And yet the verse we do sing is about the beauty of Nicaragua. And it's kind of a classic male love song. Nicaragua, Nicaraguita, you're so beautiful, you're more beautiful than any flower, you're sweeter than all the honey.